Hi YouTube, it's Jamboree here with our GTA 5 How to Build a Container Wrap. Um, in this video I am going to show you how to build a container wrap on GTA 5 races. So first of all what you want to do is you're going to want to build a ramp like this. Once you've planted down the first ramp, I recommend medium, you just scroll along like I'm doing here and it pops up. And then plant it down when they're just about touching. And then you should get a really smooth ramp. Okay, to plant down the container, you're going to have to put it down on the ground. And you're going to want to use the cement bag and put it right down at the bottom of the bottom ramp. So that it's just on the bottom. And then switch glitch over to the container until you put it in place. And do this on the other side as well, so that it's two containers wide which makes it easier for driving along. It doesn't matter if they're exactly even, like, they both start at the exact same point, as long as they're touching each other and they're both smooth. Um, you do this process all the way up as big as you want. Just have it so that they're just about touching, or just touching. So like there, that's like a perfect place. It'll be really smooth. And they're joined together and there'll be no gaps. Sometimes it takes time to do it. But, uh, well, take a few times, it won't take long to do, but and then you just do the same on the other side, try and get it about the same position. You won't get them exactly the same position, but as long as they are close enough, then this will work. As you can see up at the top of that, there's just a wee. Uh, the one on the right just goes a wee bit further, but just by a wee bit, and it's not by much. Okay, so I'm only going to do this like um, three containers long. But you can do it as long as you want, just for the purpose of what I'm doing. For this, I'm only going to need three containers. You just might need more depending on what you're doing. This is probably the easiest way to do a container ramp, guys. There is other methods, but they are harder. And in this video, there's going to be a wee sneak peek to what the final race will look like. So, I will be releasing a video after I've released like, the how to build checkpoint, which should already be released before this. How to build container ramp, which this video is. The how to build um, a half loop, and it's got a big ramp next to it as well. And then I will be releasing the final race of what um, a race could look like with all of these in it. So you can sort of see for yourself. Anyway, once you have got the container ramp, um, you will need to plant down, a, um, down uh, one or two ramps. But you need to line it up. So if you have a lot of flat road and space at the side, you can just plant it down to see what kind of ramp you'll need. But that's quite tough for me. So I decided to switch glitch to see if the small ramp would fit in and because it didn't I was going to need to use a medium ramp. So I was just trying to judge what it would be like. So I put in the small ramp and as you can see it's just too small so the medium ramp should be just fine. So you have to put a ramp at the side just as a marker to where your ramp wants to be, and then you delete the two containers, the two bottom ones. And then you'll plant down the medium ramp if that's the size. Try and have it in line with the other ramps that the containers are on. As you can see, this one isn't in line, so I had to move it over a bit so that it was in line. Once you've got it in line, you delete the ramp at the side. And then you go back to the uh, cement boxes, I think it is, cement bags. And you go back down to the bottom of the ramp and you do the switch glitch again. It should go in smoothly to the ramp. As you can see, it's just a wee bit away from the ramp, but it is like right up at it. It's a really smooth ramp. 
they don't need to be in each other. You could have, I could have probably moved that medium ramp a little bit forward. It would have been a bit smoother. But that won't matter because you're going up the ramp and you're not going back down. So this is the container ramp going onto the half wood. Um, I don't really want to show you too much of what the race is going to look like, but I just need to show you, like, you'd have to test this ramp to make sure it is fine. But yeah, that is basically it for this video, guys. Um, I'm pretty sure the rest of it is just showing you what it looked like. Um, you can plant down some containers or barriers to you know direct people to the ramp in case they drive past it. Uh, I wasn't trying to flip in these. In the actual this video I will probably flip over. I'll just test them to see what it's like. See how fast I need to you know how it's slow. That's the kind of stuff you'll need to do when you're doing the race because you don't want to have it, you have to go really slow and then everyone goes zooming and then can't land it or think that you have to go slow and then you don't need it. So it's good to work out the right speed to do it all. So this is coming back to the point I said earlier where you can have barriers or something to direct people to it. I'm um, sure I use the, the white cabin, I think it is. Yeah, this thing. Just to direct people to the ramp so that they know each time that's where they have to go and they don't drive around it. Because you would get that... Well, you won't really understand as much what I'm going on about this now until you have watched the actual final race but there is a checkpoint behind you can see on the containers behind the big ramp and people might think that's on the other side so they'll drag past the container ramp and not up it so we will find put the containers here so that they do know that they have to go up the container ramp you don't need to add these in guys it's just for some effects, just to make people know where to go. Um, yeah, you don't really need to watch the rest of this video, guys. But please do like and subscribe. You can comment if you would like me to do some more tutorials on how to build stuff in the races. Anyway, that's all from me, guys. Goodbye.